everyone welcome back to my channel this is gonna be a chill video honestly anyway if you see my face for the first time my name is Ade and I film about faith motherhood and lifestyle and if you're an existing subscriber thank you ever so much for always 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 coming back to watch all of my content it means a lot to me okay and I'm also grateful for our new addition the new addition to the latest additions to our family honestly i think i'm going to buy a shaker at this time so anytime i come on here i'm just going to beat the shaker so that we can clap and dance for our new members the new members of this family i am so so grateful to our new subscribers thank you for finding me worthy to even subscribe to my channel i really 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 appreciate it thank you so much okay so anyway in today's video um i'm just gonna be talking about everything losing um losing baby weight um losing weight after baby my experience my experience with intermittent fasting um with dr china sa Ahmad, so and everything in between stay tuned guys <laughs> so first of all i'm just going to talk briefly about my intermittent fasting experience or journey actually i vlogged this but i lost some files and when i just recovered some like everything was just not really really adding up it was not giving me the quality and um con the you know the really really juicy content that i wanted to share so um i'm still gonna like slide in a few clips into this video so you can um like see what i how my experience was so yeah so this intermittent fasting was um duly managed and monitored um is a medically supervised fasting was duly managed and monitored by dr china saamadi see let me tell you something you guys you know me when i use a product when i use a service when i meet someone that um that offers a service and their services are top notch and just on point and everything you know is gang 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 i'll always come here and tell you you can't you can't trust me on that so this is not even like a paid sponsorship or promotion or anything like this is just me coming out here to tell you my experience with dr chinasa amadi um um and um who is the uh, medical doctor um and weight loss coach of ariella and owns ariella fitness so so she and her team you know they 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 were in charge of that um, intermittent fasting medically supervised intermittent fasting journey and my journey was just so beautiful like at, at first at the beginning i just thought i couldn't do it in fact she had to send me a dm like twice <laughs> to remind me about you know paying and the payment was just like it was unbelievable i paid three thousand naira can you imagine like okay so you, the, the package was five thousand naira for seven days and but if you pay before a certain day you get to pay three thousand naira so eventually i paid three thousand naira and i could not just imagine like i couldn't imagine the quality and everything that i got out of that group or out of th that period of time like it was just so worth it ten thousand times over like honestly anyway so the journey was so you know it was it was a really beautiful like i said for in the beginning i felt like i couldn't do it like the first day i was so energetic second day i was feeling okay the melanin was popping like honestly good morning everyone and welcome back again this is day two this is the 18th of august <laughs> this is the 18th of august sorry this is the 18th of august 2020 this is day two you can see the glow <laughs> um i'm actually enjoying this journey today's workout was intense oh my goodness like it was so so intense anyway um so i'm fasting till 4 p.m today i've got my water um so in case i get hungry um, i i just have to drink water okay i just have to drink water till 4 p.m and then i will see you again at 4 p.m <laughs> the melanie was popping like i felt so good with myself third day i'm like oh goodness now first i fight i don't keep pressing you <laughs> the fourth day i'm like okay i think i can do this thing. hi everyone <laughs> welcome to day four. Oh my goodness today has been so busy this is actually um almost three o'clock yeah so i was supposed to um fill you guys in this morning but you know from one thing to the other i just got carried away again <laughs> anyway so this is me reporting live for day four day four has been amazing 
I've had so much energy even um, with drinking water and just doing some exercise like today has just been really really good yeah so yes it's um it's time to break my intermittent fasting now so I'm just gonna be having this smoothie I've already made it so in here I've got um, seedless grape I've got red apple I've got mango pineapple um, cucumber and um, summer fruit so that's all I've got in this smoothie and it tastes absolutely delicious anyway yeah so this is me reporting live for day four i would see you at 6 p.m where i'm going to be having my proper meal so i'm just going to be filling you guys in again the fifth day i was like okay yeah bring it on sixth day i was like oh you know i've started i'm here i could have just i could just you know as much finish this journey seventh day i was so happy i was so energetic and i actually saw it different guys i'm going to put a picture just right here to see what i looked like in my um on the day five like i looked so snatched i looked so good like you know when you take a picture and you look at yourself and you tell yourself ah babe fine like babe you be, babe you be, <laughs> you be correct chick like i feel so good with myself so yes so if you want to check out arela fitness i'm going to leave their name and their handle on the screen please do check her out dr amadi dr china like, she's she's so beautiful she's so gracious like she's so sweet like she's 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 one of the medical doctors i know that speak the truth she's not going to sugarcoat she, she's not going to sugarcoat anything for you like she's so open she's so approachable she's just so lovely anyway she also so um when i was about i think eight or nine weeks postpartum i bought um i bought this book it's to lose weight i bought it actually i'm going to go get that book this is the book it's to lose weight so i got this book when i was like about eight to nine um, weeks postpartum like i told you earlier and it's just very amazing like it's got it's got um how many chapters now <sighs> it's got five pounds i said five pounds i'm looking for money <laughs> I think money is coming. I said it's got five pounds. I actually got it five pounds to be honest. Anyway, it's got five chapters. See, so it's got five chapters. It's got I need to lose weight, busy schedule, no problem, Niger food for life. It's to lose weight, the, the end of the journey. Night then it's got a two meal Nigerian budget weight loss meal plan. Like you don't need to like break the bank to eat healthy or to feel healthy. So it's got like um, so this is one week, um, what's it called? One week um meal plan and this is another week's meal plan and he's also got some exercises that you can do like this book is like is worth more than five pounds i don't know how much she's um selling this book for right now but it's just worth more than five pounds like and she can ship it to you anywhere like i was in the uk and she she's um she has a representative in the uk who just um sent it to me i didn't even have to pay for postage can you imagine she, i just paid for the book like she's just so cool like that yeah so this is this is dr chinasa like she's so cute she's she's got two adorable girls and you know she's just so lovely anyway back to what i was saying so yeah the journey was so nice and was so so brilliant anyway so i'm going to tell you what actually brought about this journey it is our it is our people <laughs> so um i'm going to you know go back a little bit about how this all struggle started so before i actually got pregnant i was i was looking like this okay i was looking like this so i was just you know i was just one you know very not too not too i had the curves in the right places i still got I, I still got it trust me oh no trust me i still got it okay <laughs> anyway so this is what i looked like um, before i got pregnant and when i got pregnant you know i started showing as usual and when i had my baby i still had my mommy big my big mommy belly and everything and i breastfed for almost till it was one year and um i re i noticed that during that period i was i lost weight like drastically like even my friends um they would they would um tease me and be like oh you look like 616 and uh, sweet 16 like you look so good and all of those things and i'm like really and i was really really feeling myself and this is what i looked like at that time i'm gonna put a picture here so and i noticed that immediately my son turned one and i stopped breastfeeding <laughs> you know when it's something regression started like i started adding weight again and i just could not explain it like i did not know and i feel like this is some of the struggles that 
um i'm going to be talking about moms now okay i'm just going to be talking about moms right now i'm not going to be even be talking about anything else okay so and i feel like this is some of the struggles that people don't understand this is some of the things that people don't understand and they just you know body shame you and bash you and feel like they can pass their unsolicited comments as they like okay so anyway i started adding weight i started adding weight especially in my stomach area then quarantine started and <laughs> it got worse it got worse okay <laughs> quarantine started and it got so so worse like I start adding a lot of weight and i'll tell my husband like look at my hand look at my stomach look at my and you just tell me you're okay like why are you bothering yourself like why are you disturbing yourself okay and then we started working out together which was which is very very cute by the way anyway so we started working out together i started to see some changes and then i'll just snap out of it i'll be in my feelings and i'll realize that i've even gained more and more and more anyway so then i decided to take this intermittent fasting journey with dr chinasa and i like i told you when i came out of that after that journey like it changed my mindset about a whole lot of things and this is just something i would like to tell you um mom new mom out there if you're struggling with losing weight after baby just take it easy on yourself do not put pressure on yourself see pressure is one of the things that you know to make people to go even you realize see at a point when i was trying my best and i was not losing weight i was slowly going into pre-depression if there's anything like that like i was so angry sometimes i would cry sometimes i i realized that so there was a time that i was telling i was talking to my friend and she, i would tell i was telling her that when i realized that i wasn't losing weight uh, like i wanted to i would starve myself i would not eat bear in mind i do i would, i didn't even really know anything about intermittent fasting as at that time so i didn't program so it was not as if i programmed my mind or my body to say okay yes you're doing intermittent fasting from this time to this time but i just realized that at that point where i wasn't losing weight as i wanted to i said to starve myself sometimes i would cry sometimes i'll just be angry and i'll be edgy and all of those things i'm like okay i'm already like over one year postpartum why am i not back in my pre um pre baby weight why am i not losing weight why am i you know i just started blaming myself for a lot of things but new mom i want to let you know that see First of all, that bundle of joy that you're holding is a blessing. Second of all, you need to realize that your body has gone through a lot, okay? Fine, some people, after four days, they, they, they tell themselves, I don't believe it, but anyway, whatever. They tell themselves that they've snapped back and all of those things. Good for them, but please do not put pressure on yourself, okay? Do not put any kind of pressure on yourself. Just take it gradually a step at a time take baby steps if you if 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 so be it take baby steps do the do the best that you can okay put in your best and just you know just do it gradually don't put unnecessary pressure on yourself like i like i told you i put pressure on myself at some point and that is what happened okay so don't put pressure on yourself do not do it pressure is bad okay <laughs> So yes, so another thing that I did was I just took charge of myself. So new mom, I'm telling you again, just take charge. Just take charge of yourself. If you realize that, okay, you want to get back into your pre-body size so, so badly, take charge of your eating to change your diet to something that is more a lot more healthy recently i started sharing some um healthy recipes on my channel as well sometimes i there was a time i shared uh, my effery real recipe with kale i shared my how i do my salad and all of those things so you can google um healthy breakfast recipe healthy lunch recipe and you know healthy what i eat in a day you know things like that just take charge of your health take charge of what you put in your body and all of those things you know even when you're having cheat days make sure you're not cheating yourself too much okay make sure you're not bringing back the calories <laughs> that you've lost so yes just take charge of yourself and do not put pressure on yourself now to the body shamers i have a message for you let me roll my sleeves I have a message for you see let me even tell you something do you know that when i finished this intermittent fasting i actually met someone and the first thing that person so i greeted that person the person greeted me and the person was like oh you've added weight to in my mind i'm like first of all in my mind i'm like did corona not hit your area did you not realize that corona is 
Did it not reach your side? Do you not know that Corona came with weight gain? Is it me that am I the only person that is feeling this feeling? I cannot be the only person, okay? If I'm not the only person, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> like I told you, this video is going to be a very, very chilled one. So just relax yourself. We are going to be having a really really nice time in this video so yes yeah, so i just thought to myself like okay did corona not eat your side like apart from that it is i find it so offensive and wrong to tell a woman that she has had it weight or she's not losing weight or she's fat like i feel like you don't know this person you don't know what this person is going through like i said I just finished it like I finished intermittent fasting a week before and even after that my, after my intermittent journey with Arela Fitness like I still went on so right now I'm still doing it like in the month of September I'm going to be doing it a whole even almost through the month of September because I've not actually gotten to my desired shape and weight and everything you understand so I felt like this person does not even know that in the past one week I've actually been you know trying to lose weight i've actually gone through um, um put my body through intermittent fasting i've been eating healthy i've been exercising i've been working out like i'm just like i said i'm going to be putting some clips i'm going to put a clip of when i was working out i think that was the last day of the intermittent fasting day yeah so um i told you guys earlier that i was going out for i showed you guys earlier that i was going out for a walk and suddenly it started raining <sighs> I think I said it once in one of my videos that um, I said this British weather air, eh, it's got mood swings. One sometimes it's um, raining and another time it's sunny. We finally have the house, it was so sunny, it was so hot, and now it's suddenly started raining. So I just literally have to wait till it stops raining. I can't wait to get back home. I will see you guys at 6 o'clock. Bye. I'm going to put a clip here. And you know, so I just feel like these people don't know anything. So you don't know this person's struggle. So. Please do not pass on solicited comments or ideas or maybe try and do this thing, try and do that thing. Please leave them alone. You are the one, you are the one, you are the one that is causing these women to blame themselves, to ask themselves why they don't lose it. Anyway, yeah, so that's just all I have to say about this video, about my journey with losing weight after baby, what I did, what I'm still doing, and advice, like I said, to new mom, do not put pressure on yourself and just take charge of your body. I really do hope that you have not rambled a lot in this video and I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed it, please definitely give me a big thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know if you are on this table, if you're also um going through like a weight loss journey. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts generally about this video and I will see you in my next one. Stay blessed and God bless you guys. Bye.